Hi everyone, my name is Lachlan and today we will be talking about Miele's brand new innovation, the Dialog Oven. This is the Dialog here and it's a very exciting session today to show you what is one of the most historical moments in cooking to this present date. Those of you who may know Miele, Miele started operating in 1899 and we entered the market with a butter churner. At the time, Germany was flooded with butter churners, so Miele had two options. We could either decide to be the cheapest butter churner or the best and the most innovative. That's the direction that Miele decided to head and that has led the pathway for Miele to date and also in the future. We see the Dialog oven as being an oven that may be in everyone's homes in 2035 or beyond. Miele see the Dialog as being one of the biggest changes to the domestic cooking since the induction cooktop. When you think about lots of the things that Miele has innovated over the years, we've been key leaders in all ranges of premium domestic products. And when we look at a lot of the premium products that we see in our kitchens at the moment, something like a dishwasher, for example, this is something that at the time may not have been the most necessary product. And a lot of people might've thought it was completely unnecessary, but now every household basically has got a dishwasher. And if you don't, it's one of the first things people are looking to put into their house to make their life even more easy. And the dialog, we believe, ticks all those boxes as well. We're just going to throw to a video now from our global brand partner of the Dialog Oven Gagan from restaurant Gagan Anand, which is a progressive Michelin starred restaurant in Bangkok, as he'll go through some of the key innovations of the Dialog Oven. I'm always trying to push the limits of what's possible. Imagine an oven that can talk to your food. Imagine cooking in ice. Imagine creating dishes that no one has ever dreamt of before. Mila's dialogue oven changes everything we know about cooking. In a world first, sensors maintain a constant dialogue with your food. The feeling of creating something nobody has been able to do before. There's nothing like it. Redefining perfection for the world's best chefs. Mila. Isn't that a fantastic clip? And one of the quotes that Gagan mentioned was, Miele's dialogue oven changes everything that we know about cooking. And this is a very accurate representation of the appliance. And today we'll go through that more in depth, obviously, and break it down so you can understand truly how this will work in your everyday lifestyle. So just before we go through the oven features of the dialogue oven, I just want to go through all the accessories that will come with the appliance. I'm going to start off with the simple stuff. So I've got a couple of baking trays. This is our multi-purpose tray. We can use it for grilling, roasting, the whole lot. And over here, we've got the thinner version, which is our baking sheet. So both of these can be used for all of our everyday cooking. My only recommendation would be when you're grilling, use this multi-purpose tray because it's a little bit deeper. These are coated in Miele's Perfect Clean Enamel. So you will know you have super easy cleaning, no need to use baking paper, hot soapy water, and they come up an absolute treat. We also have our racks. The dialogue will come with two racks. These are pyro fit. So what that means is when we do a pyrolytic clean in the dialogue oven, which is effectively cleaning the entire unit, we can leave these racks in, they'll stay beautiful and shiny and just makes your life even easier when we need to clean. It also comes with a roasting probe. So this is a probe that we need to plug into the unit. So we plug this into the side of the cavity and then this goes into the meat. And essentially what we can then do is tell the appliance what temperature we would like our meat to cook to once that reaches that point, you have a perfectly cooked roast every single time. So a fantastic tool to give you that perfection in all of your everyday cooking. We also get, which is very important, a beautiful gold book. So this is the book developed in Germany by all of the testers and the developers of the Dialog Oven. Some fantastic recipes here, some rules, and this is definitely a tool that you'll be utilizing in your initial stages of using the Dialog Oven so you become an expert when you do use it. When we look inside the Dialog, you can see here it's very similar to our standard baking ovens. We've got our shelves in here. Now we only have the four trays or shelf positions in this appliance. Um, we have our rack in here ready to go to cook in shortly. We have our Moisture Plus nozzle here as well. So this can be used as a straight Moisture Plus oven, very much the same as our other baking ovens. We have our grill and the brilliant LED lighting on the sides to give you really clear vision once we open the door. These side racks, they are fixed into the appliance as well. So that means they can stay in during the paralytic clean, which is excellent. When I go through the oven functions, this has everything that our standard ovens have. So we've got the fan plus, conventional, obviously you've got moisture plus. And we scroll through, 
very easy to use with this M-Touch display we've got our grilled also. So everything that we can do in our standard oven, we can also do in this dialogue. So that essentially means when we use this, we can use it in two different ways. We can use it as a straight oven and cook always how we always have, or we can use it as the dialogue oven, which is when we use M-Chef technology. And that's the concept of today. So you can get an understanding of the M-Chef technology and how it can best suit your lifestyle. So I've got some dishes today, which I've cooked in the dialogue using the M-Chef technology to demonstrate the technology at its absolute best. First and foremost, if we look at this, I've got a bread with no crust. Now, this is one of the things that we can basically do in the dialogue is control the level of browning or crust that we get on our food. I was talking to a lady just recently and her kids hate eating the crust on their school sandwiches. So I baked her a loaf of white bread. She gave that to the kids for their sandwiches and they ate everything. So that's a perfect time where we're limiting waste, makes it easy, and you know your kids will enjoy some food. I've also got a lemon tart here. I've pre-cooked this so the curd can set. This cooked very gently in the dialogue. So the dialogue can either cook very quickly or very gently, it depends on our application. And essentially what I get with this lemon tart is perfectly smooth lemon curd and just a really tasty dessert that everyone will love. I've also got warming in the warming drawers behind me, some lamb shoulders. Now the lamb shoulder I cooked in the dialogue in about two and a half hours. So depending on the application and the size of the meat, we can do this up to 70% quicker than normal baking methods. That's pretty impressive if you want to do a pulled pork or a lamb shoulder or anything along those lines, roughly two and a half to three hours, depending on the size of the product, which is pretty impressive. I'm serving that alongside a uh, cauliflower and we've baked the cauliflower whole. Ordinarily, what we would have to do is actually blanch or steam the cauliflower for about 10 minutes or so before popping it into the oven. Whereas now, thanks to the MCF technology and the waves cooking through the food and penetrating in the volume, we can cook this from start to finish in approximately 30 to 40 minutes, depending how big the cauliflower is. In front of me here, I've got a block of ice. In Gagan's video, he mentioned cooking in ice. Now, this is not something that you would normally do. You may never do it, but it is the best way to demonstrate the technology that the dialogue has. I'm sure if you can imagine, if we pop ice into an oven, that outside heat will melt it before that food cooks. Whereas the MCF technology and the waves, they can pinpoint the food perfectly. So we'll be able to know where this fish is. It'll cook that exactly as we want it and the ice will stay frozen. So for our fish and ice, I will go M Chef Gourmet Profi. And from there, I'll go M Chef plus conventional. I'll change the temperature all the way down to 30 degrees. I'll open the further settings making sure my intensity is on strong and I'll set a duration for seven minutes. Select OK. I can place my fish into the oven and away it will cook. So now that the fish is in the dialogue and cooking, the dialogue is actually counting up the gourmet units required to cook the product. I'm going to throw you to another video right now that's going to illustrate some of the more technical ways in which the dialogue works. And this is a great video to see as we'll use these reference points throughout the rest of the session so we get the best understanding of the appliance. When roasting or cooking, energy in the form of heat is transferred to the food. This process takes place exclusively from the outside to the inside. This is achieved with methods using infrared radiation such as grilling, heat conducted directly via pan frying or convection cooking such as an oven or steam oven. The food is always heated from the outside to the inside, with the outer layers inevitably being fed more cooking energy than the core. This usually leads to uneven results. For example, a perfectly prepared veal fillet has an exact optimally cooked zone, namely the pink core. This is surrounded by a mantle of unavoidably overdone meat. Excluded are all the cooking methods which cook the food over an extremely long time at low temperatures. Another form of energy transmission is heating via microwaves, such as the case in microwave ovens, where energy, in the form of waves, penetrates via only one transmission channel into the food and stimulates the various molecules to move. Movement generates heat, heat cooks. The advantage of microwave ovens is the speed at which heating occurs. A major disadvantage is the limited penetration depth of the waves, with the result being uneven heating. The Miele Dialog Oven complements conventional cooking methods with its innovative M-Chef technology. Two antennas on the device transmit energy via electromagnetic waves through a wide range of transmission channels. The energy is emitted in small amounts 
yet achieves a high penetration depth into the food molecules. Since the antennas in the device can both send and receive, the dialog oven calculates the difference between the energy emitted and the energy which has not been absorbed by the food. Thus, the dialog oven knows how much energy has already been absorbed by the food. We measure the energy which has been absorbed by the food in gourmet units. One gourmet unit corresponds to one kilojoule of energy. After measuring the absorbed energy, the dialog oven optimizes the amount of gourmet units still required to achieve perfect results. This is the new M-Chef cooking method, targeted use of energy specifically tailored to exact cooking requirements. In the process, the food heats up simultaneously in its entirety. This is called cooking in the volume and achieves perfect, even results. For the first time in the history of food preparation, the Dialog Oven and M-Chef make it possible to cook food volumetrically and establish a dialog between the food and the appliance. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes now and the fish has cooked. So it's absorbed 64 gourmet units, which will make some sense shortly. When I take this out, I'm gonna sit it here so it doesn't slip around. Try and take this lid off, soft like so. And in here I've got my pieces of cooked fish. So what we've got here, as you can see, the ice is still completely intact. Um, I've got a little bit of liquid inside and that's the steam that's generated from the fish has then obviously melted the ice inside. We've got a perfectly cooked piece of fish, no ice melted. And this demonstrates ideally how the technology works. As you can see, we've pinpointed the food exactly how it should be and cooked it exactly how we want it to be. So now that we have seen that technical video and also the fish in ice, it's probably got you thinking, how is the dialog different to a normal oven? Because as we know, we can use the dialog as a straight oven, which is fantastic. So for all of your everyday application, we can use it really easily. But then we have the dialog feature also, which is going to give you simplicity and fast results and all of those benefits that we are going to really enjoy. But it's important that we get a good breakdown of how this works so we can use this to the best of our abilities. Now there's a technology that we refer to called M-Chef technology. And this is basically the dialogue functionality. So in the top of the appliance, there's two question mark shaped antennas. And what these antennas do is one gives out the frequency and one absorbs the frequency, or you can call these waves as well, whichever is easier. Now, this is where we get the dialogue terminology because we know exactly how much energy the food has absorbed in its cooking. So that fish and ice just prior, that absorbed 64 gourmet units. A gourmet unit is basically a kilojoule of energy, but a gourmet unit is a much easier way for us to refer to the product. So this gourmet unit number, we don't really need to think about it too much. In most circumstances, we just set the appliance up to a intensity setting. So pop the food in, set your function and your intensity setting. We can pick between gentle, medium and strong. And then we literally just let the food absorb as much energy as required because each food's a little bit different. It'll vary in the way it's grown, the way it's produced, and this will impact how quickly it absorbs energy. So the numbers are a very cool thing to see, but we don't need to overthink it and try and manufacture our own numbers when we cook. As I said, this is the dialogue. And if we look at a normal oven, this is basically a monologue style oven where you've got hot heat coming out and that cooks your food from the outside inwards. Whereas now, depending on the frequency, the waves are very long in length and this penetrates the food in the volume. And this means we get beautiful, quick results, um, exceptionally even, and it comes out excellent. So just think about roasting a chicken, for example. We know in a normal circumstance, the breast cooks quicker than the legs. But now thanks to that MSF technology, we're getting those waves go through the entire chicken and your legs will cook in conjunction with your breasts. You can cook a roast chicken in as quick as 25 to 35 minutes, depending on the size of the bird, and it's beautifully even. So these are some of the great benefits that the M-Chef technology gives you. Another thing that you may have already noticed is there's no glass door. The door is actually quite thick. So the range of frequencies that the dialogue uses is actually the same as the GSM mobile network. So we've had to, I guess, make the door solid to stop those waves leaving the appliance and having an influence on our mobile networks. That's the biggest difference. So we can't see our food when we cook, but you can have the confidence knowing when you're in there, it's gonna cook faster, um, it's gonna be more consistent and you'll get those excellent results every single day. Apart from that, it's very much the same. Those two antennas, the door, that's the biggest differences. 
and getting to know that MChef technology. So along with our oven functions, we also have the dialogue functionality of the oven. Now, when I select MChef, we have two options. We can use Gourmet Profi, and Gourmet Profi is using this as a manual way. So when I select that, we then have a massive option of all of our functions. And from there, you can select one of them. So for example, if I go M Chef plus Fan Plus, I can select my temperature. You can select gourmet units. I would recommend to keep this to zero in most cases. You can open your further settings and in here, you can actually pick your intensity setting and durations and so forth. So lots of control in there. This is very much the manual way to use the dialogue, but the automatic way, if we head back into the menu, if I go into MChef and I use the Gourmet Assistant, these are all pre-organized programs and these will be found in the golden book. There's also extra automatic programs back on the main menu. Once again, a lot of these are found in the golden book. So here in the automatic programs, we find one of the most innovative features of the dialogue and that is the MChef menu. Now, when I select the MChef menu, We've got a select group of uh, functions here or types of food that we can cook all of these food groups simultaneously. So for example, the kebab, the cauliflower and the focaccia, all three items we have on the tray from raw and they cook together and they all cook to an excellent result. So we simply select that function, preheat the oven, the dialogue will talk you through the rest of the prompts and out you get an easy, quick, fantastic dinner. The dialogue's also equipped with special applications. So once we select that, we then have a lot of other functions in which we can use the appliance, things like defrosting, drying, proving yeast. So no appliance can defrost food as evenly as the dialogue oven. All we have to do when we defrost is select the function. You then select the depth of your food and then also the weight. And from this, the dialogue determines how much intensity is required and how long it needs to take to defrost its food evenly and perfectly. One of the major advantages when we cook in the dialogue oven is because our food's cooking quicker and those waves are penetrating the food in the entire volume, we actually retain a lot more moisture in the product. So when you're cooking your meats, your breads, your cakes, you get much better rises on your cakes and breads, uh, for example, and for a roast, you're actually losing less of a yield. So depending on how we cook a piece of meat in an oven, say for example, you cook it to well done, you lose roughly 30% of moisture in the product. You'll be losing a lot less moisture when you use a dialogue function, simply because it's cooking for less time. So in conjunction with the food probe, if you cook that to medium rare, you almost have a like for like yield and it's beautifully even from the edge to edge. We've got a few examples as well. We've actually dipped a, an eye fillet or a fillet of veal in beeswax and baked that in the dialogue with the food probe as well. It's similar to the fish in ice in many ways because the beeswax doesn't melt but the veal or the beef inside cooks to perfect medium rare. And once again, this is something that we can't do in a conventional oven. Now, when we actually pop our food into the appliance, we need to actually decide which intensity setting that we use. So for that fish earlier, I set it to a strong intensity. And effectively what this means is there's a channel or a range in which the waves can work. And strong is obviously the strongest way in which it can work. So we can select either a gentle, a medium or a strong intensity. And it really depends on the application as to which one you will set. As I said before, we don't want to cook food as fast as possible. This is something that is a great benefit, but the goal should always be to cook your food as best as you possibly can. So when I'm doing things like egg products or souffles or those delicate things that we know, that would be using a gentle frequency. And this will cook the food still faster than a conventional oven, but not as fast as physically possible because those products we want to allow to rise like normal, but we don't want them to cook too quickly, which can inhibit the rising. Things like uh, most of your meats and seafood can be cooked on medium. Now, sometimes you might choose to go strong. So this is where you can kind of take your pick, um, but strong is ideal for your breads, your cakes, all of your doughs, anything along those lines, they absorb that energy really, really well, cook beautifully even. And I love baking cakes and all of that sort of food because a full size cake is baking in about 20 minutes. You know, a lot of people are cooking cupcakes in that time and you get beautiful even rising, no cracking, it's an exceptional way to do all those baked products. So here I've got a beautiful piece of salmon. Now this salmon, what I've done is I've put it in a dry cure for about 10 minutes. So what that is, it's equal quantities of salt and sugar, coated the fish in that, and then I've washed it off. 
I've then added it to a vacuum seal bag, as you can see. There's 500 grams of oil. I've got some dill, some juniper berries, coriander seeds, and some fennel seeds, but really you can add whatever you like to this. So for our confit salmon, we will go into M Chef. We will use Gourmet Profi. And from there, I will go into M Chef Plus Fan Plus. And now I'll change this down to 30 degrees. I will open the further settings, change the intensity down to medium, and set a duration for 15 minutes. Then I'll place this fish on shelf level two, and away it will cook. And now I'm going to pop this into the dialogue and we'll get a comfy salmon in about 15 minutes. Now this is something that you can cook in a porcelain dish or anything like that to submerge it in oil. I've just popped it in a bag today so I can show you what it is. We'll pop that in now and uh, don't need to look at it, don't need to touch it. Dialogue will cook it perfectly. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes now and our confit salmon is finished. So when I head over back to the Dialogue, this is telling us that it's used 105 gourmet units. Now this figure varies every time we cook this, so it doesn't really matter too much, but it's very cool to see how much energy has been required to cook this product. When I take this out, we can just see when I hold it, you know, it's nicely cooked. This will be cooked beautifully and evenly. Um, it's gonna be perfect. So I'll break this up and we'll serve it as an entree. So one of the biggest questions you might be thinking right now is how is a Dialog oven different to a microwave oven? And there's quite a few differences in the two appliances. So I'm going to break it down a little bit now um, just to show you that there is two clear differences between the products. Now, we know from microwaving the results that we get. Um, you know, when you defrost something, you might be half frozen, um, maybe a little bit's cooked on the end. So it's not perfectly even. And also sometimes when you reheat a product, depending on how it's been approached, quite often you need to stir it and pop it back in to get that heat even. And this is a result of the frequency in a microwave. Now, without getting too complicated, a microwave is effectively running at three times the frequency of a dialog oven. What this means is those waves that cook the product, they're actually very, very short. As a result, they don't penetrate the food in the volume like it does in the dialogue. And they're only really hitting the outer edges of that product, maybe about an inch deep in a best case scenario. So this means you're relying on a lot of that outside heat to cook the internal bits of the product. And also we know that you need a turntable and that turntable helps to distribute these waves as evenly as possible. Another thing we know is that we can't microwave with an empty microwave or it is going to be quite damaging to the appliance. The dialogue, completely different because we have those two antennas, one giving the electromagnetic waves and one receiving, we could theoretically have the dialogue turned on with no food inside and it simply absorbs all of those waves. Also, those three frequencies, where we've got gentle, medium, and strong, each of those frequencies has a channel. So it will be seeing the absorption of those waves on the food as it cooks. And it will actually be changing every 10 seconds the amount of energy that's given to the appliance as your food cooks. We know that those waves penetrate the food in the entire volume, so you're getting beautiful, even cooking. And because those waves are so large, you're getting that perfection every single time. So they have similar, I guess, um, processes behind them, but the technology is quite different and we're able to cook things properly and perfectly in a dialogue oven, whereas the microwave oven is a bit more restricted to reheating and, and those quicker jobs. So now that you know a bit of the background on how the dialogue works, we've got six rules that we recommend to follow to get the best results from the dialogue every single time. The first one's really simple. We use the same function on M Chef that we would use in the oven. So for example, if we are baking a cake and the recipe says to use fan plus, we would go into M Chef and select M Chef plus Fan Plus. The second rule is we need to increase the temperature. So we need to increase the temperature by about 20 degrees, and this makes sure that our colouring is in line with the cooking time. So we know that the dialogue will be quicker, and by increasing this temperature, you'll get the beautiful look that you know and you should be getting. The third rule is our gourmet units. So whilst we can set a number, we recommend that we keep the gourmet units set to zero. And as you saw from the things that I've cooked today, the appliance will count up those gourmet units and that's what that food required to cook. The fourth rule is setting the intensity. So we spoke earlier about gentle, medium and strong being the intensities. And my recommendation would be to have a look in the gold book, which comes with the dialogue, find a similar recipe or similar style of food to what you're cooking and set a intensity according to that. 
Rule number five is the position in which we place the food. So we recommend to place your food on shelf level two for most of your cooking. It's also ideal if we can place that food as central in that tray as possible. If we recall back to that video with the illustrations, we saw that the waves basically enter into the circle and their strongest point is in the center of that tray. Where this can be a major benefit, however, is when we're cooking things like some greens and some brioche and some chicken breasts, where your greens, for example, might cook a bit quicker. So placing them on the outer edge of the tray, they're getting a bit less of that frequency and that means all of your cooking will come in line. And finally, your cooking time. We know that the dialogue will cook quicker. So my recommendation would be to check the dialogue halfway of the cooking time that you would set for your normal oven. In most cases, your food in the dialogue will be almost cooked, if not cooked at this point, but by checking it halfway on your normal cooking time, you will know how long to further cook that for, and then from there, you'll know exactly what to do. So when we follow those six rules when we cook, we guarantee it to get excellent results, and it's also very, very easy and enjoyable to use. So thank you so much for watching this session. As I said, this is one of the biggest innovations in cooking since the induction cooktop. It's very exciting as only a select group of people have been able to work on this, let alone use it. So it's definitely a great time in cooking and something that's excellent to be a part of.